and millions of Americans making the trek to see family and friends for what's one of the busiest traveling seasons of the year. News Channel 9's Julia LeBlanc caught up with those trying to beat the crowd at the airport. One suitcase after the other. People already coming into Syracuse visiting their families for the holiday. It's been pretty quiet. Most workers don't have off until midweek, something these travelers hope to take advantage of. If you can come early, it's really worth it. We don't want to be traveling on those peak days of Tuesday, Wednesday, and next Sunday. Many people I've spoken with say Thanksgiving travel is not nearly as bad as it used to be because people have learned to spread out their flights. But if you want to get there smarter and faster, they say always travel the weekend before the holiday. People tend to leave earlier, I think uh, Friday, Saturday, and then they'll probably get the latecomers. Those latecomers are expected to bring the number of traveling Americans up to 54.5 million for this season. Janine Lombardi says most will be traveling by car, despite an increase in gas prices over the last year. Americans in general are receiving higher wages. The average disposable income, uh, household income is higher, making the disposable income higher. We have seen a growth in travel this year. And if you're not one of the lucky ones with this week off, Lombardi says just try to avoid Wednesday's traffic. Interestingly, if you can travel Thanksgiving morning, that is a time that is very lightly traveled because people want to already be at their destination. I want to be with the grandkids. Though getting there is a bother, finally seeing family is worth it. In Syracuse, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. And Lombardi says if you're traveling to a big city, try and avoid the city centers by taking alternative routes and give yourself at least an extra hour to account for that traffic.